after year, Ghanaians all around the globe come together to celebrate our independence on the sea of March. I'm Ben Sinoforia Jayafuaka from Yen, Ghana. Let me take a moment of your time to share with you the history and culture of our beloved country, Ghana, on this 57th independence anniversary. Millions of people know our country and where it's located, whilst millions of people also don't know our country and where it's located. Ghana is located on the western part of Africa, a former British colony known as the Gold Coast until 1957. In 1957, Ghana became the first sub-Saharan state to gain political independence from the British colonial rule. And now Ghana has more than 100 ethnic groups, 10 regions and over 25 million population. So now, why was Ghana previously called the Gold Coast? Ghana was previously called the Gold Coast because of its riches in gold and other mineral resources. The name Gold Coast was given to us by the Europeans in the early 14th and 15th. Ghana has a total area of 238,535 square kilometers or 92,100 square miles. Ghana has a population of 25 million as said earlier and our official language is English and Cree. So now, how did Ghana gain independence and who are the people that fought for it? Well, we have a footage of the unforgettable speech given by then Prime Minister Wasadi for Dr. Karamako. Take a look. There is a new African in the world. That new African is ready to fight his own battle and show that after all, the black man is capable of managing his own affairs. It's a little information of the Kyori people that led our country, Ghana, to its independence. We start with their leader, Osage for Dr. Kwame Krona. Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was born on the 21st of September 1909 at Nkrofu in the western region of Ghana. He led our country, Ghana, to its independence in 1957. He was our first president and our first prime minister. Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was a founding member of the Organization of Africa Unity and he won the Lenin Peace Prize in 1963. Dr. Benezar Koje was born on 17th June 1916. He passed away in January 14, 2002. He was born in the Eastern Region, started his education at the Presbyterian Middle School and then at the Presbyterian Boys Boarding School and then Accra Academy. Eduardo Kufuado was born on June 26, 1906. Eduardo Kufuado became a Chief Justice and later the President of the Republic of Ghana. Kufuado was born at Dodua in the Greater Accra Region. He had his education at Dodoa. Then he entered at Chimota College in 1929, where he won the scholarship to St. Peter's College, Oxford, where he studied mathematics, politics, philosophy. He died on 17 July 1979. Joseph Kwame Chuetriye Danqua, popularly known as JB Danqua, was born in December 1895 and passed away on February 4, 1965. Um, he was a Ghanaian statesman, Pan-Africanist, a scholar and a historian. A fun fact, he is credited um, with giving Ghana its name. And during his political career, he was one of the primary opposition leaders to Ghanaian president and independence leader Kwame Nkrumah. Uh, the next is Emmanuel Daukwa Obechebi Lamte. Emmanuel Odakwe Obechebi Lamte was born on 1902 and passed away on 1963. He was a politician in the British colony of the Gold Coast. He was one of the founders and leaders of the UGCC, that's the United Gold Coast Convention. He is the father of the NPP politician, Jake Obechebi Lamte. The next is um, William Ofori Atta, and he was born on the 10th of October 1910 and died on the 14th July 1988. He was popularly, popularly called Pa Willy and was a founding member of the United Gold Coast Convention, that's the UGCC. He later became a Minister of Foreign Affairs in the Second Republic between 1971 and 1972. With these six significantly incredible heroes together, Ghana gained independence on the 6th of March 
1957 and altogether they are known as the Big Six. Talk about a slavery. To gain independence or freedom from something or someone means you have to go through something or someone. And if it were any mere thing that Ghana went through to gain independence, today wouldn't have been a memorable or a cherished day for us Ghanaians as it is today. Some of the things our forefathers went through from the 17th century to the 19th century. Um, I think they went through a lot of things. They went through pain. They went through a whole lot of things. They were sold. They had no right or no will. What their masters said, that was what they had to do. I mean, their wives were sold. Their children were killed anyhow. And um, I think it would be something red or painful for a man to see his wife and children being killed or being sold or being put to do a work that, I mean, our forefathers have gone through a lot. Oh. So through all this hardship, the Big Six, among others, fought and gained independence for us in the 1957, making us the first sub-Saharan state to gain freedom from the white oppressors. Now, let's look at the past and present leaders. Since independence, there have been 12 presidential leaders in Ghanaian history. Who are these leaders and how did they become president? Let's find out. We start with the Basadi for Dr. Carmen Obama. As we earlier said, Dr. Kwame was our first Prime Minister from 1957 to 1960. Then our first President from 1960 to 1966. Nkrumah was overthrown by a military coup nine years later after his rule grew dictatorial. Wasadifu passed away on April 27, 1972. Our second President was Major Joseph Arthur Ankara. He was born on August 18, 1915. At Accra Gold Coast. He was, he, was in of, he was in office from February 24, 1966 to April 2nd, 1969. General Ankara passed away on November 25th, 1992. Our third president was Brigadier Akwesia Frifa. Brigadier Frifa was born on April 24, 1936 at Mampo in the region. He assumed office in April 2nd, 1969 to, to August 7, 1970. Brigadier Kwesia Fifa passed away on June 26, 1979. Our fourth president was Ni Ama Olenu. Rahel Ni Ama Olenu was the chairman and acting president of Ghana during the Second Republic from August 7, 1970 to 31st August 1970. Ni Ama Ama Olenu served only 24 days as president and passed away on December 22nd, 1986. Our fifth president was Edward Ekufu Ado. He took office from August 31st, 1970 and was deposed in a coup d'etat in January 13th, 1972. He passed away on July 17, 1979 in Accra. President was Colonel Ignatius Kutu Echampong. Colonel Echampong was a military head of state for Ghana from 13 January 1972 to July 5, 1978. He was deposed in a palace coup and was later executed by a firing squad on July 16, 1979. Our second president was Lieutenant General Frederick William Akwesi Ekufu. He assumed office in July 5, 1978. He was overthrown by a coup d'etat on June 4, 1979. He passed away on June 26, 1979 in Accra. Eighth president was Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins. He was the first president in the Third Republic and from June 4, 1979 to September 24, 1979. Our ninth president was Dr. Lila Liman. He assumed office from September 24, 1979 to December 31, 1981. He was deposed in a coup d'etat by Jerry John Rollins, and Dr. Liman passed away on January 23, 1998 in Accra. Our tenth president was again Jerry John Rollins. After deposing Dr. Liman in a coup, 
Jerry Rollins became our 10th president and the first president in history to serve a second term. He served his second term as a president from December 31st, 1981 to January 3rd, 1993 in the Third Republic. Mr. Rollins was also the first president in the Fourth Republic, serving yet again from January 7th, 1993 to January 7th, 2001. He is the only president in Ghana history to serve more than 20 years in office as the president of Ghana. Our 11th president was John Ajekum Kufo. J.A. Kufo assumed office from January 7, 2001 to January 7, 2009. Mr. Kufo was born on December 8, 1938 in Kumase. Our 12th president was John Evans Fifi Atamos. He assumed office in January 7, 2009 to July 24, 2012. Passed away at the age of 68 at the 37 Luigi Hospital in Accra. The vice president during the vice president during the term of Mr. Mel's presidency, John Mahama, assumed office after his death. Our third and incumbent president, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. After assuming the presidency after the death of ex-president Mills, John Mahama was elected as the fifth president of the Fourth Republic. He was born on November 29, 1958. These people are the past and present leaders of our country. Now, to those of you who don't know where Ghana is and where to find it. Ghana is located on the western part of Africa. It shared borders on the east with Togo, on the north with Burkina Faso, on the west with La Côte d'Ivoire, the Gulf of Guinea on the south. Regions and their capitals in Ghana and languages and our currency. Ghana is subdivided in 10 regions and we are going to learn a bit about these regions and their capital cities starting from the top. We have We have the Upper West region Wa The Upper East region Boligatanga The Northern region Tamale The Brunga Alpha region Sunyane The Ashanti region Kumase The Volta region Ho The Eastern region Koforidia The Western region Second day. The Central region Cape Coast and the Greater Accra region. Accra! Accra is the capital city of Ghana and the other mentioned cities are the capitals for the 10 regions. English is our official language but with over 100 ethnic groups. Each ethnic group speaks at least one other language being Gan, Akan, Ewe, etc. Here is the breakdown of the ethnic groups in percentages. The Akan represent the 47.5% of the population. The Mwale Dagban represent 16.6% of the population. The Elwe represent 13.9%. The Gadangwe 7.4%. The Bande 1.1%. And the other ethnic groups. That's 13.5%. In Ghana, our official currency is the CD. Today, the CD, once it is equivalent to 0 0.40 0 .4 cents. USD. So now, let's look at some of the achievements and what we have as a nation. Through the years, Ghana has achieved a lot of things and here is the list of what we have achieved as a nation. We were the first sub-Saharan black African country to gain independence from colonial rule. And Ghana is now a democratic nation. Actually, it's the bacon of democracy in Africa. And 57 years without civil war. Ghana had its first African UN Secretary General, that's Dr. Kofi Annan. We have a universal health care. We are one of the fastest growing economies in the world. All the world's most vulnerable resources are found. Gold, diamond, bauxite, manganese, etc. Actually, this is my favorite. The first African country to use an aeroplane as, as a restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> Ghana, is what, Ghana is now the second largest producer of cocoa in the world and the ninth largest producer of gold in the world. Goes on and on and on. Here are some of the heroic people in Ghana and what they did for Ghana. In Ghana we have achieved a lot as a nation and um, we have as well achieved more to like individually. Ghana is what it is today because of some courageous steps and establishment by some specific personalities. Here are a few of them. The big six, they gain independence they gained independence for Ghana. 
Philip Beho, the orchestra for our national anthem. Theodosia Oko, he was the designer of our flag. Ya Asantua led the Ashanti rebellion known as the War of the Golden Stool against British colonialism. Konfanochi, co founder of Ashanti, he also helped establish the constitution, law, and the customs. Kwejri Agri brought education to Ghana. K. E. Buzia, J. E. Kufo, Osafu Kantanka, Kofi Annan, Tetekwashi, Dr. Boateng, Frimpong. The list goes on. As a nation, we have many things that we are proud of and um, as many other countries, we have some things that we fall short to. So myself and the Yen Ghana crew um, would like our leaders to help in deducing these things. Below our short list of some of the things or places we would like to see improvement in if possible. Fighting corruption, stabilization of the city, good roads, good education, Strengthening the law enforcement agency, more jobs and reducing unemployment rate. In Ghana, we have three major religions. Christianity, the Islamic and the traditional religion. Today, the Christian religion is the most popular religion in Ghana, but some few years back after the independence, the traditional religion was the most popular among all the religions. Ghana as a nation with multiple ethnicities have many cultures and festivities which we are known for. Some of our festivities include the Apo Festival which is done yearly in the Tetiman in the Brunga Hafa region, Homo World Festival in, in the Greater Kaa region, Akokre Festival in the southern part of Ashanti, Kobe Lora in north and western part of Ghana. Kwambo in the central region, Abuatre in the central region, Manyan Festival in the eastern region, Gipo in the Volta region, Fao in the upper east region, Akosidae in the Shanti region, Adekesia in the Shanti region, Kundum in the western region, Fetwa Fashe in the central region, Odra Festival in the eastern region, Hogbachocho in the Volta region, the Bugum Guju Fire Festival is the first Dagomba festival in the year and much more. Now, we finalize this with kings and their kingdoms. One of the major areas we value most when it comes to our culture as Ghanaians is our chief Tansi. There are hundreds of chiefs in Ghana in all the regions, cities, towns and villages. At all these towns and villages, there is a head um, of that which is the king or a chief. The chiefs are ranked from the lesser kings like Jasehene, Ankobiahene, etc., to so the higher kings like Ga Manche, Domahene, Asantehene, and much more. Our kings do many things like settling disputes, being in charge of our lands, helping the people in our town and villages, etc. The chiefs also represent the town in most meetings or occasions, being funeral, political, educational, etc. In other words, the work of a chief or a king is similar to the president, but in smaller proportion. The president is supposed to cater for the whole nation, while the chief or king is supposed to cater for the village or town where they are in charge of. For more on this, don't forget to check on yengana.com. This has been a fun experiment and we had much fun here and we hope you also did. From Yengana, I'm Georgina Ohima Sewa Braketu. And I'm Benson of Regia Farqua. God bless Ghana. God bless you. Thanks for watching. God bless you. A fish power. We wish all Ghanaians a happy 57th anniversary. God bless you.